Alrighty guys, in today's video, we're going to be looking at how to set your page width and height within um, TrueCut RD Works. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, we're back in the program here. Now, um, this is going to be a mini series on the page settings. Not a very long one, but um, there's a couple of things we need to cover in regards to this. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can actually follow along. Now, when it comes to the page settings, this is a, a place where you're going to be setting up most of your settings for your actual page. And... Uh, it will also be your basically your design area size <laughs> now a common practice is to um, make this the size of your machine and then um, work according to that but sometimes also you might want to set this up according to your material instead of the machine so you can do that as well now by default the program will set it to um, uh, I'm not sure what they set it these days, but I think it's about 1,200 by something. Then um, and once you connect your machine, it uh, should automatically adjust it to the size of the machine, but you can change it later. So in order to set um, at least the width and the height, we're going to be going here to um, config on our main menu, and then we go to page settings. Now, under page settings we have a few different options here and then the first one that we're going to be looking at here is the page size now uh, we obviously have the page width and page height now you might have to refer back to your manual to see what's the size or you can just measure your machine but like i said once you connect it it should by default adjust it but if it doesn't you can adjust it here then far as i remember i could be um, mistaken though but uh, this auto refresh page setting um, if you click this and your machine is connected it will also adjust your machine size you can always keep that off if you want to work with a unique size now um yeah that is rather simple and like i said i think yeah it looks like the default here is 1200 by 800 it's a nice little standard there Otherwise, uh, yeah, in the next few videos, we're going to be looking at some of these other settings. And then um, in the meanwhile, if we head here to softwaretraining.co.za, you guys will notice we've got a variety of different softwares to cover. And also you can isolate your search here on the top right. If you do not, however, find the videos you're looking for, um, just uh, go your request a training video, fill in the mini form, and then we will make that video for you. But otherwise, thanks guys for watching and cheers.